exhibit space, the Great Plains Black History Museum building or a place to hold an exhibit has been closed for the last 17 years. So this is a historical moment for the museum, for the city of Omaha, for the state of Nebraska. And we are so glad that you could join us this morning. We invite you to come again, again, and again. Each month that we are here in the Crossroads Mall, the exhibit will change. So if you come back in March, this will not be here. We will have something different. In the month of March, we will have a salute to black firefighters. So we invite you to come, tell all the school children, tell all your friends, your neighbors, your church members, everyone that you know. The Great Plains Black History Museum is open as an exhibit space in the Crossroads Mall, and we are ecstatic. Wow. I would like to introduce to you former Mayor Suttle, our Councilman Ben Gray, our Treasurer, Mr. John Ewing, Diane Barriado, the Register, Register of Deeds. Of Deeds. Our, sorry about that. Our President and Chairman, Mr. Jim Beatty, uh, Mr. Mark Kraft, City Councilman. Oh, City, County, County Board. Board. County Board, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> you promoted it. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sure, I'm sure that's good. Yeah. That's good, that's good. And the person that made all of these beautiful pictures on the wall possible, Mr. Terry Deal and his wife, Tony Deal. Thanks, Terry, and thank you all for coming out. Uh, we have... We're just humbled by the support of the community. But Terry, I'd like to also acknowledge one more person. He's standing in the back as usual, George Green, who he and his wife Celeste donated their time to clean up this space. This is important. We need supporters like that. And also, yeah. And um, Gail Adams, is Gail here someplace? Gail painted this place for us too. So this is a, an example of what can be done when there's community support. As Terry mentioned, I'm, I'm Jim Beatty, uh, Chairman and President of the Great Plains Black History Museum, and I've been in that position since uh, late 2010. I'm a volunteer, like everybody else here, I'm a volunteer, but I'm absolutely committed to giving Omaha a first-class black history museum, and this is step, this is step one. Er Earlier this week, we appeared before the legislature uh, testifying in support of LB 904, which is a bill introduced by Senator Rick Kalowski to appropriate from the state up to $8 million for us to build a new facility. We have a, a uh, uh, we will show later what the facility will look like, but we are planning on a 35,800 square foot first class facility that will push Nebraska and black history and black people and a whole bunch of good white folks into a national spotlight. So I'm real pleased with that and I want to thank you. Uh, we will be here until 6 o'clock uh, today, right Terry? 4 to 8 every day and uh, we'll pray on Sunday from 10 to 2? 2 to 4, whatever it is. There's signs here. 2 to 6, I'm sorry. 2 to 6. But I'm just absolutely proud of what uh, we're doing here. Tell your friends. Bring your family out. There's no cost. Uh, I, obviously, we will accept donations. You see these ladies in these jackets here, Sisters Elite, raise your hands. They will be having membership information. We'll also have raffle information. Please spend your money here as much as you can, okay? Thank you so much. I'm humble and pleased. Give yourself a big round of applause. <laughs> Smith, really? Where is Terrence Coleman? And Joanne Ferguson, where are you, Kavanaugh? Uh, really mentioned that the, uh, the museum, in conjunction with Salem Baptist, will be showing the weird tales free of charge at Salem. What time? 21st. 21st? What time? At 6 o'clock. Okay, that's what we do. We put things back out in the community. But see these sisters elite and, and, and shower them with money because we need it, all right? <laughs> but thank you very much. Appreciate you coming out and come and enjoy. Ask anybody who has questions. But, but you know what? With all of these folks here, I need to make certain I give the mic to anybody that might want it. Anybody wants to say anything? Just one thing. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Just want being a politician and a former journalist, it's hard to turn the microphone down. Call your call your state senator 
ask them to support LB 904. And the city and the county needs to do its part as well. And I'm going to be pushing that effort as well. What is 904? What is 904 is the bill uh, that was introduced by Senator Rick Kalowski that, can't, that was, uh, uh, that the committee hearing was this past week. It's an $8 million appropriation. Uh, I think it's a match, too, isn't it? And I think it's, we, it's a two to one. We have to raise two dollars. We, we have to raise two dollars to every one dollar for those, but the, if the city and the county and others participate. But let's start the process by calling your state senator and asking them to support LB 904. Call it the Black Museum Bill if you want to, if it, if it makes it easier for you. But make sure you call your state senators and, and, and ask them to please support this legislation. And it was, that's absolutely. Now, I couldn't resist either. I was twitching back there. I'm John Ewing, the Douglas County Treasurer, and I'm also proud to be the community chair for this effort to rebuild the Black History Museum. And so I'm going to challenge each of you to support this effort with your contributions, with your word of mouth, and like Ben said, reaching out to the state senators and the city council and the county board so that we can get the support we need to make this happen. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Anyone else? Terry and Tony, if you'd come on over here with me for a second. If you'd come on over here with me. Let, let me tell you, uh, Terry Dill, the artist. Terry is the artist. Okay? Support from his wife, so you know really who does the work at the house. <laughs> Terry contacted me a little over two years ago and said, Jim, I, I have these uh, drawings that I'd like to show, and I'm getting no support locally to show it or nationally. He had contacted people all over the country. He called me. We literally met for coffee right across the hall here at Barnes & Noble, and the one drawing he brought was uh, the latest thing, was it Billy Holiday? He, he bought that, and as soon as I saw it, I said, I don't care what you have. You've got more of these. We're going to find a place to show them. Last year, we did show them at Love Jazz and Art Center. Uh, they most recently were shown uh, at the Omaha Playhouse during the play run, uh, having our say. And we're just proud to put a home, uh, uh, at least for the next 30 days, hopefully longer, Terry, uh, uh, for, for these... Yeah. <laughs> For these uh, 21 famous black women, and then he's also added 23 famous black men. And so we owe Terry and Tony a round of applause and a sincere thanks. So with that, I'd like for you to join me, Terry. Uh, you take the scissors and uh, officially opening this exhibit. And if everybody would want to step up close, yes, yes. We'll, we'll hold it for you, Terry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, uh, you all, the crowd count off. One, two, three, okay? One, two, three. All right, we're open. We're open.